Item number AEP582. Object class Oriens. Containment protocols AEP582 is to be kept in a 2 cm thick containment box at site 050 within an 8 m by 8 m locked room. This room is to be equipped with audio receivers in case AEP582-1 attempts contact with the association. These audio receivers are to automatically block out all sounds louder than 150 decibels in volume. In order to prevent dangers posed by AEP582-1's scream. In the event that AEP582-1 attempts to contact the association, one member of Class B, preferably with a degree in social psychology, should respond within 15 through 45 seconds. All contact with AEP582-1 is to be recorded by the association without AEP582-1's knowledge and stored digitally on a flash drive kept with AEP582's transcripts to avoid confusion and ensure quality. If attempts to answer AEP582-1's contact through AEP582 fail, all objects within AEP582-A are to be classified as AEP582-2 and are to be retrieved and stored normally for study or use by the association. People under the age of 49 within AEP582-A are to be considered terminated and replacement personnel are to be hired as quickly as possible. Personnel that can be recovered are to be sent to site to be re-raised by personnel. Floor tiles and light bulbs should be changed. The walls should also be checked for temporal changes and replaced if changes are present. No technology that was invented after the year 1990 is to be placed in AEP582's chamber at any time for any reason besides authorized testing or conversions. Description AEP582 is a vintage GPO black Bakelite rotary telephone from the 1970s, including a small drawer peeking from the front at the bottom of its base. The rotary dial is covered in scratches, despite the rest of AEP582 being in mint condition. The source of these scratches is suspected to be from the events transcribed in AEP582-D, though the definite source is currently unknown. The bottom drawer of AEP582, when opened, contains transcripts of the previous ten conversations made through AEP582, printed in courier font on aged paper. These transcripts appear, even if paper was not present in the drawer of AEP582 at the time of the conversation. Additionally, the paper is aged even if new paper is placed within AEP582's drawer. These transcripts typically relay the phone number, excluding that of AEP582-1 and full name of anyone participating in a phone call with AEP582 but substitutes first names with prefixes such as Dr. or Mr. when possible. When AEP582 was discovered, three transcripts were already present in AEP582 and will hereafter be referred to as AEP582-B, AEP582-C, and AEP582-D. Information regarding the contents of AEP582-B AEP582-C and AEP582-D can be found in their respective logs. AEP582 will show no anomalous properties when used for standard phone calls of any nature. When murder or other illegal activities is discussed within 7.5 meters of AEP582 while performing a call, AEP582 will emit a 215 decibel scream. Immediately after, all matter within 7.5 meters will be transformed temporarily into a 1970s equivalent or version. This anomalous effect of AEP582 is to be referred to as AEP582-A. All instances of temporarily changed objects are to hereafter be referred to as AEP582-2. Any person within range of AEP582-A will be changed into themselves as they were in the year 1970, both physically and in memory. If a person within AEP582-A wasn't alive in the year 1970, they cease to exist. This effect is currently irreversible and any personnel lost are considered terminated. AEP582-1, formerly known as John, is a 32-year-old Caucasian male who was born in 
Michigan in the year 1938. AEP 582-1 will, when asked, respond with corresponding information. AEP 582-1 will occasionally, approximately two through three times a week, attempt to make contact through AEP 582. AEP 582 does not seem to care who responds to this contact. Failure to answer this call within 45 seconds will result in AEP 582-1's 215 decibel scream, followed by a 10-minute period of AEP 582-A. Note, all attempts to contact AEP 582-1's family or next of kin have failed. Additionally, all attempts by the association to find people who knew AEP 582-1 have resulted in failure. Furthermore, Attempts to retrieve AEP 582-1's phone number have failed, as they are expunged from transcripts and cannot be found in any known records. AEP 582-1 speaks in the context of a busy businessman working on an unnamed project in Michigan. All attempts to question the nature of the project result in a 215 decibel scream from AEP 582-1 followed immediately by a 10-minute duration of AEP 582-A. When transcripts are checked in regards to this scream, only a murder occurs is written in the place of screaming. An interview with AEP 582-1 interview 582-1 is provided in recovered documents. After interview 582-1, no further interviews with AEP 582-1 are to be attempted. Show test 582-1 09175 was brought into AEP 582's containment at 47 hours and was instructed to call 00572, who was using an ordinary smartphone in a containment cell on the other side of Site 055. They conversed about the nature of their O-class containment. Yet no criminal activities were mentioned. No anomalous effects were recorded, and 09175 and 00572 were sent back to their cells. Show test 582-2. 08164, a Caucasian 25-year-old male, was brought into AEP 582's containment at 30 hours and was instructed to converse with 00472, a Class O personnel member, at site. The transcript successfully relays the name of 00472 and phone number of the device used by 00472. Despite the distance between 08164 and 00472 and the lack of this technology in the year 1970. The test was interrupted when 08164 began to discuss the murder that caused him to be turned over to the association to 00472, which caused a 215 decibel scream to emit from AEP 582, followed immediately by an instance of AEP 582-A. 08164 was unable to be recovered, and 08164's uniform was taken for study by the association. 00742 reports a sudden hang-up in the place of the screaming. No anomalous effects have been observed in 00472 by the association. Show test 582-3. A Cult Cobra .38 revolver, a can of brand soda, citrus flavored and a smartphone were placed within 0.3 meters of AEP-582 and were to be left there until AEP-582-1 attempted to contact AEP-582 in order to test the results of AEP-582-A. However, 24 hours after this test began, the objects in question instantaneously transformed into the following. Occult Trooper Mark III.357 Revolver a glass bottle filled with brand soda, normal flavor, a 1970s white GPO rotary phone. Immediately following this test, all testing of AEP 582 with living subjects were discontinued. Many tests after this one have determined that it takes 24 hours within 0.3 meters for AEP 582 to transform into AEP 582-2. Testing of AEP-582 has been discontinued, but use of AEP-582 in attempts to neutralize AEPs is allowed, with approval from personnel with appropriate security clearance, to both AEPs in question and at least one member of ASF present. Recovered documents.
Show AEP 582-B. Call sender, Mr. Call receiver, John. Begin call, Mr. Ah, if it isn't my old friend, John. I assume this call is in regards to our startup company. John. Indeed. Construction in is going very well. Business is booming, and we got money to spare, Mr. I can practically guarantee you that this business endeavor will be a success. Mr. Wonderful, but make sure it stays that way. The old man used to always say that a train ride goes great until someone puts a penny on the railway. And if your operation in fails, I'll have your head on a pike. John. Yes, sir. I'll do the best I can. Goodbye, sir. One of the workers is reporting a problem. End call. Show AEP 582-C. Call sender. John. Call receiver. Mr. Begin call. Mr. John, I just heard wind of your endeavors in... You know what has to be done, John. John. Sir, please. I have a family. I have kids. Mr. So do I, John. That operation in... was an important asset in my pocket, John. Why would I worry about your family when you've done all this to me? What happened, John? You were doing so well. John. Sir, please. One more chance. I promise I'll set it. John is cut off by Mr. Mr. Silence. You're doomed, old friend. My advice is kill yourself before my men get there. It'll be a lot less painful than what they're gonna do to you. End call. Show AEP 582-D. Call sender. John. Call receiver. Begin call. John. Honey. Hey, honey. Listen to me. There's not a lot of time. Huh? John? What the hell do you want? It's in the morning. John. I know, and I'm sorry, but there are some very bad men coming for us. I need you and the kids to go somewhere safe. Anywhere is fine, as long as it's not there. They know where you are, and they're probably coming for you next. They're banging at the door. There isn't much time left for me. Save the kids. Honey? Honey, are you there? John. A murder occurs. End call. Show interview 582-1. Call sender. John. AEP 582-1. Call receiver. Doctor. Begin call. Doctor. Greetings, John. John. Hey. I may be a bit busy, but it's nothing to worry about. So, what's shaking, Doctor? Um, not much. But do you mind if I ask you a few questions? John. I don't really mind. Besides, things are slow right now. Doctor. All right. First question. What is your relationship with Mr... John. Oh, Mr... is my boss. Wonderful man. Audio quality returns to normal. He gave me an assignment to work on this project in little old... Said it better be huge. Doctor. Thank you. Second question. What is the project you're currently working on? John. Redacted for personnel safety and health. A murder occurs. End call. At this point, AEP 582-A occurs and Doctor... Age 41 is terminated. No further questioning of AEP 582-1 approved by the association at this time. Addendum 1. After discovery that AEP 582-A and creation of AEP 582-2 can be controllable via leaving an object within 0.3 meters of AEP 582 for 24 hours with no outside interruption. Value assessment. N.A.